previously on whatever this is. I have to track this song and then record it, and I've got some fun ideas for it. But the great news is the story will keep going. It'll just happen in the next in the next in a future episode. Well, here we are, new day. Today we're gonna track some of uh, I Don't Belong in This Dream. I don't have tons of voice left because, um, well. I know I don't wanna talk about it. First things first, coffee and breakfast. And then we're gonna see what kind of explorations we can get into. I've already built a little bit of it. I'm excited about the direction it's heading. But I'm finding some frustrations in, in finding the right puzzle pieces. Everything's a puzzle piece to me. Sometimes pieces that you don't think are gonna fit, fit wonderfully. Oftentimes you are certain they'll fit, don't fit. Music is not much different than, than putting together a puzzle. So you just have to make your own puzzle pieces. I still have been using the samples from the song that I made with the coffee. The, there's a kind of a driving texture in the song that I think is really, really cool. Then I added a couple of different little, um, like a delay. Kind of gives it some width. And then I added a bunch of reverb. This is the Valhalla reverb. It's like wild, but it gets this huge sound. favorite things that I've done so far in, in this. Here, I'm gonna pop this off because it gets a little bit harder to tell. Okay, right in here is this thing that I called the guitar freak out. And if you listen to it, it's just a, it's just a bunch of like endless delay. So it freaks out, listen. Let's turn some light here. I took that guitar freak out. So I hit that, that one, that plunk, right? That's like, oh, bong, and then it goes wah, 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 right? And then I tuned it. And so now we have this weird kind of, listen, well, just, just listen here. So when you bring the plunky scent thingy back in, like that I was talking about from the coffee, you have this really, really interesting, these textures to it. There's one more element that I wanna talk about, and, and this has to do with the puzzle pieces again. I've been downloading as many loops as possible, anything I can get, and one of them is this, like kind of this lo-fi beat sample. So let's add that with kind of the textures, you know, like. But, you know me, I didn't think that was enough. So, I added this other part down here. And then I added in the regular dry kit, and so now it sounds like this. And then if we add in those other parts, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with, whoop. I hate this camera. I'm gonna play some acoustic real quick. I've got an idea, just kind of another layer of movement, but I'm not trying to make the song explode. Again, part of the puzzle. I don't understand what it is with puzzles. There's there's something about watching the pieces come together that, that excites me, but there's also something that, come, that's something that excites me whenever something I don't think it's supposed to work when you're like, well, I'll just try this, and then it works, and that puzzle piece fits in perfectly, and you're like, that was not on my radar, but super cool. There's this line in this song that says, sometimes the best way to change is to finally awake. I was thinking, what if I turned that into an alarm? I think that could be really interesting. What I thought is we could just grow the outro. Well, wow, big, big, big stop. And it sounds like the alarm going, you're waking up.
What are you doing today? Oh, I'm just making, um, you know, alarms for my iPhone. <laughs> Just to kind of drive that point home, I'm gonna, I need to record me saying, wake up. Okay. 